So big part of this is getting us out of default. Our default state is going to be, and, and, for, and, and some of you are like, no, no, I'm here for a reason because I'm not in this fear mode, but your teams would be. And the teams are going to be, within, with discomfort caused by innovation, is it triggers the amygdala. It triggers this old fight or flight response within our brains. And so a lot of, a, a lot of the impact from, from a technology leadership is that you're sitting in, in the center of, of the eye of a storm of the business, and you know this is going on. But the business leaders are all carrying on, and, and there's commotion. Is can you stand there and just know what's happening, and know that within your teams, potentially, there's this fight or flight happening. They're afraid. Also within the corporate immune system, I call it. So you want to take on innovation. We're here to talk about innovation, uh, all of the offense and defense. But I call this the corporate immune system. There is a huge entrenchment of people within your organization that don't want change. That's not, that's not natural. People don't want change. They want stasis. Innovation is not about stasis. So uh, handling the corporate immune system is important. Um, many of you come from legacy organizations. You know, I mean, anybody who's been in business over 15, 20, 25, it's a legacy company. And how are you dealing, the strategies, how are you dealing with the old? The old thought patterns primarily, you know, the old thinking, the old vested interests. This is my system, it's been around for 15 years, I owned it, I'm not letting it go. And you're trying to come in there and do something interesting and different, and you gotta deal with this. So this reality, it's, it's complete reality. So this is part of the role of the transformation leader.